Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. If you guys remember our last video, we start working with the Unity UI system. We had a button to our UI and also explore the basic objects of the UI system. Today, we will talk about anchors and how you can use them to build the UI for your games. If you enjoy this video, remember to leave a like and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. Now, we actually if we actually take a look to our button right here, we can see that we have several parameters that we can change on the Rec Transform component. These allow you to change, for example, the position of the button. However, the parameters that you can change on this component depend on the anchor you choose for the UI element. So what are anchors? Anchors are an elegant and powerful way to control the position and the size of the UI elements relative to their parent. This can be quite useful if you need, for example, to resize the parent. When you set one or more anchors, you specify several points in the parent, usually one, of each, one on each corner of the parent UI element. By doing this, when you resize the parent, your UI element will try to maintain a uniform distance to the anchor points, forcing it to move or resize right along with its parent. So, to see all the options Unity has to offer for anchors, what we actually can do is we actually select a UI element, in this case the button, and we click right here. This will open the several anchors already defined inside Unity. So what behavior do you want for your anchor? You want it to be center middle, like it is selected right now, or for example, you want it to scratch in all directions when the parent changes. You can easily define how the UI behaves by using the anchor options. So let's try a practical example here. So we have our parent object, object the button. Let's select the text, as and you guys can see here, we have a scratch um, anchor. So what this means is that if I actually resize the parent object, the text will scratch to try to maintain the proportion with the parent object. So if I go to the parent and I actually change it, as you guys can see, the text will try to maintain its proportion. Now if I actually go here and change it for example to bottom left, right? So what happens when I try to resize the button is that the text will always stay on the bottom left of the parent object, okay? So this is a quick example and quite intuitive, I believe, of how the anchors work. Now, one thing that you can also do with the anchors is to define custom anchors. You can do this by, by moving the anchor to the position you desire. So in, the anchors are represented by these triangles that you can actually see right here. You can try to move them with the mouse to where you actually want them to be. However, I find it easier to actually change the position of the anchors using the interface on the inspector tab. Since you'll actually be able to change the, the values easy, easily. So in this case, let's just be 0011. Um, so finally, as I mentioned on the last video, um, every time you change an anchor, the parameters of the rec transform will match the anchor of your choice. So for example, when you have the anchor set to scratch, we have top, uh, we have left, top, position Z, right and bottom, but let's just say we try to change this, for example, to top left, we instead of those, we have position X, position Y, position Z, width and height. So depending on the anchor you choose, you have different uh, um, different parameters that you can change. So turn this back again to scratch. So the last property that I want to talk to about today is the pivot. So the pivot is the point around which all transformations are made. If you change your pivot position, you rotate your UI and you rotate your UI element, it will rotate around that point. So for example, if I actually try to rotate 
our object right here uh, before that as you guys can see we have this blue circle here and this blue circle is the representation of the pivot point so if I actually try to rotate this and as you, as you guys will see this will rotate around the pivot point right so if I actually try to move the pivot from one point to another for example to this point here if I go here and I, now I try to move the, the text, you guys can see that will now move around this point that I choose, right? So as you guys can see, you can actually change the pivot. So by default, the pivot is, as you guys can see here, is set to the center of the object. Um, and its values go from zero, right? which is left to one which is right okay so we actually want it to be in the middle so 0 0.5 and the same with the y axis so zero is on the bottom one is on the top we want it to be on the middle so 0 0.5 okay guys so now that you have covered the basic concepts of working with a rec transform I think it's now time to build our menu and give some functionality to it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson, until the next video and have a nice day.